Hi guys, thanks for joining me. Thanks for joining me so much. Oh, at such a late hour. For me at least, it might be morning for you, but for me it is a late hour. It is 2.07 a.m. I got this graphic novel, manga, anime, animated comic book. Uh, it's by, uh, it's a Stitches by David Small. My girlfriend calls me small boy, and um, this has some relief. Honestly, like, I think it's, uh, I think the artist is a social worker. Um, <laughs> he never says it. Um, I think the artist has a bit of money. <laughs> no, I, I, I promise myself. I would not uh, uh, disparage, but the art is quite beautiful. Uh, the art is beyond what anything I could ever do. And the depiction of um, his mother and grandmother, it's basically uh, everyone in, uh, in this book, every, every, everyone in his life is awful. Except for there's like a few scenes like some women are attracted to him, so that's good. And like uh, the medical staff give him drugs to help him sleep, so those guys are good. But like his mom, a white rat, this uses Alice in Wonderland. Okay, spoilers. Um, uh, this uses Alice in Wonderland. Just like. Well, I mean, he he admits, he admits he's not crazy. He's like, my mom was crazy. Her mom was crazy. There was terrible abuse back in the 18th century. Um, and so, ah, I got past it. Oh, cancer, art, ah. No, but it really is quite a great book, and I got it for a dollar at the library. Um, and it's beautiful, and it, it's a mind bender. Mind bender is a hip hop artist in Toronto. I actually do want the author of the book to read this because I I have a, an artistic crush on him because. Um, uh, I spent about like two, three hours just reading it straight. And like, okay, so I quit smoking. The kid in the book, the author who's the kid, he's he's got like a scar down his neck from cancer surgery. But it's like, it goes from a, t a troubled like, na 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 na. Uh, like childhood. The trouble childhood is really good and it's like mysterious and it's like it's like dwelling and ominous and then it gets into this like stuff that it's just like okay did this happen to you or were you one of the caregivers and you you saw what it was like but did you feel it? <laughs> and it's like okay and if there are the like like the dude says I, I believe he had an operation in the hospital um, like the dude says like the hospital people become your caregivers and if this David Small man maybe a uh, pseudonym um, if he uh if he borrowed a little bit from working, I don't care about that. Like, there's worse things my social worker could do than, <laughs> like, you know, they wouldn't be, just don't say it's me that's, if you're going to steal from my, my life is pretty normal, actually. Anyways, just, if you're going to steal from my psychosis, insanity, whatever, 
to write a graphic novel that's oh so hip among the generation. Um, what was this, 2009? It was released. Oh, so, so just a little bit past when all the kids were doing it. And I'm sure it continues on and on and on and on. Like, I'm tired, it's 2 a.m. And so, but like, it's beautiful. I want to make, I want to, okay. He, he really pushes home that he likes the book Lolita. Um, I don't know why he would feel that necessary, but then he has this Alice in Wonderland. He believes psychiatry is Alice in Wonderland. And it's like, um, I think I went to, I saw this guitar tech guy and he's like, hey, do you like White Rabbit? One pill makes you larger, one pill makes you small, the pills that mother gives you. It's like, yeah, okay, when you're 16, that's cool. When you know how not at all. I'm tired. I'm tired. I like the book. And for a dollar, I'd pay 10 bucks for this. I'd pay 10 bucks. Uh, the, it says twenty two ninety nine. Come on, give it up, man. Like, give, give up the price, price point. I'd pay 15 bucks for this. Um, if you're going to sell it on Amazon, anything like that, um, you know, I don't know. At a book signing, I'd full, yeah, I'd pay full price. I don't, I don't know what else this guy has done. Um, he says he was in like some stuff. He was in Playboy and stuff. He's got a website. Maybe I should, uh, davidsmallbooks.com. So, I just felt like there was a turning point where it was like, from what he was really feeling to, like he really got, his last name is Small, he, he really got the small part, the, the little kid part down pretty good. Um, I've never had cancer, but I'm pretty sure he crib note that bit. I don't know. And like, please, God, don't give me cancer. Do, 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 do. Um, I like David Small. I think he's a good person. Uh, his his writing kept me awake. It gave me something to occupy myself. It held my attention. Um, only once or twice was I like, I'm going to put this down and go to sleep. I was like, no, I have to read this book so I can review it on YouTube. And um, there you go. So. Pay 10, 15 bucks. If you see this for five bucks, for sure, that's like impulse buy. You gotta buy it five bucks. I got it for a dollar at the library. Go to your local libraries, they're awesome. Thank you. If anyone, if anyone at the library was like looking out for me and helping me out, um, thank you. I appreciate it. it. It, not quite what. I went through, or not quite what I needed to heal, uh, but it's uh, compelling. Um, and I'm not, you know, <laughs> at least the guys don't just completely, oh, I think it works this way. I saw an episode, I don't know. Uh, anyways. 
uh, he has secondhand smoke lived experience. Uh, it's like just okay. I'll just I do give it eight out of ten stars, but um, can I just say? That scene where the dad says to his son, I'm sorry I gave you cancer. You didn't have to do that, man. <laughs> if that actually happened, please forgive your dad. And if it didn't happen, there's like probably a lot of cancer patients who read this book. And I might have cancer one day, but uh, so. don't don't turn. I'm hearing voices. Okay, uh, okay. This is the book. <laughs> um, And of course, my very favorite part of the book is that it is set in Detroit and there are multiple pages where he says it's set in Detroit. What, what, what? <laughs>